Okay, good day everyone. Now we are in lesson 5.3 areas of plane regions using definite integrals. Lesson outcomes at the end of the lesson, the learner shall be able to compute the area of a plane region using the definite integral and solve problems involving areas of plane regions. We have learned how to evaluate definite integrals. One of the many applications of the evaluation of definite integrals is in determining the areas of plane regions bounded by curves. Consider a continuous function f. If the graph of y is equal to f of x over the closed interval a comma b lies entirely above the x-axis, then the definite integration of f of x dx, where the lower bound, uh, lower bound is a and the upper bound is b, gives the area of the region bounded by the curves y is equals to f of x, the x-axis and the vertical lines x equals a and x equals b. So we can show this using this graph or uh, this presentation. So we have the a function y equals to f of x and the area bounded by the regions from uh, close interval x equals a and x equals b. So this is the area of the region. So the definite integra integral of f of x dx start from a up to b. Next application of definite integrals, word uh, problems. We have learned how to find areas of regions bounded by curves. We will use this concept in situational problems. Parcels of land are shaped in the form of regular polygons, usually triangles, quadrilaterals. However, there are possibilities that one can acquire a piece of land with an irregular shape. This can happen in places where the property being acquired is near a river. River currents normally erode the soil, changing the shape of the river bank. Sometimes land is divided irregularly, resulting in irregular shapes of the land parcels. For example, 5.3.3. Juan wants to acquire a lot of uh, 200 pi meters wide and with length bounded from the road side to the banks of Ilog Ahas, which follows the equation. Y equals cosine x plus 200 over pi. Refer to the figure. Ito yung figure. So ito yung Ilog Ahas. Diba? In shape siya ng cosine x plus 200 over pi. Ito. Yun yung kanyang uh, equation. Then, okay, so yung bibilin lupa ay 200 meet, 205 meters, yung kanyang wide, okay. Katabi siya ng, ano, yung katabi ng kalsada. So ito nga yung uh, gray shaded region, so ito yung pagpalagay natin na sukat ng lupa. So ang target natin, find the area of the lot. And letter B, if the price per square meter is 500 pesos, how much is the cost of the land? So, so ito yung dalawa natin tutugunin ng mga question. Suppose we place the x-axis along the side of the road and the y-axis on the one side of the lot as shown. Note that the y-axis is placed such that it runs along the uh, farthest side of Ilog Ahas. We can now apply definite integrals to find the area of the region. So, ang magiging area natin ng region is the definite integration of cosine x plus 200 over pi dx. Ang ating lower bound ay 0 at ang upper bound ay 200 pi. Okay, so ngayon, since ito naman ay uh, two terms, so pwede natin kuhanin ang kanyang antiderivative per term. So pag kinuha natin ang antiderivative ng cosine, it is sine x. So antiderivative ng cosine x ay sine x 
plus ang 200 over pi ay isa siyang uh, constant so kaya ang kanyang magiging ang kanyang magiging antiderivatives ay 200x over pi at ang ating lower bound ay 0 at upper bound ay 200 pi Next, gamitin na natin yung fundamental theorem of calculus. Substitute natin muna yung upper bound, 200 pi, dun sa ating x na nasa sign. At ganun din yung 200 pi dun sa x na nasa 200x over pi. Okay, so meron na tayong sign, 200 pi plus 200 over pi times 200 pi minus yun namang ating lower bound na 0. So, meron tayong minus sine 0 plus 200 over pi times uh, 0. Okay? So, sa part na to automatic ito ay 0 na to di ba? 200 over pi times 0. At ang sine 0 ay 0 din. So, ito ay magiging 0 na to Ito magiging 0 na rin. Then, dito naman, ang sine 200 pi Pag kinuha natin yan sa inyong scientific calculator, automatic magiging 0 na rin yan. So, ang matitira na lang, 200 over pi times 200 pi. E, cancel na rin yung pi. Okay? So, therefore, we have 200 times 200. And 200 times 200 is 40,000 square meters. Okay? So, yun yung ating letter A. So, yung area ng lote ay 40,000 square meters. Next, letter B. The price of the lot is 500 per square meter. So, times 500 times 40 square meter, meron tayong uh, 20 million. Ayan. So, meron tayong 20 million pesos. So, yun yung halaga ng lupa. And that's it. Okay, next example, 5.3.4. Consider the figure on the right which shows the shape of a park in a certain city. The mayor of the city asked the city engineer to cover the entire park with progress that cost 150 per square foot. Determine how much budget the mayor should allocate to cover the entire park with progress. Ito yung sketch nung uh, park. 2. Determine the area. The city engineer first places the x-axis and y-axis accordingly. As shown, the points of the park's vertices are then determined. He discovered that the lines are y equals minus or negative 2x plus 200 comma y equals 2x minus 200 comma y equals 3x plus 200 comma and y equals negative 5x minus 200 refer to the figure using uh, vertical rectangles the city engineer has to split the region into two sub regions sub region represent as r sub 1 is the one left is the one to the left of the y axis whose upper curve is y sub 1 equals 3x plus 200 and y sub 2 is equals to negative 5x minus 200 as the lower curve then the sub region r sub 2 is the one to the right of the y axis ito yung portion na yan whose upper curve is uh, y sub 3, uh, negative 2x plus 200, and y sub 4 is equal to 2x minus 200 as the lower curve. The length of the vertical rectangles on r sub 1 is r sub 1 is equal to the difference of uh, equation y sub 1 minus equation y sub 2. So we have the uh, r sub 1 as the sub region 1. So that is 3x plus 200 minus the quantity of negative 5x minus 200. Then we are going to manipulate this equation. 
So we have three x plus two hundred. Distribute the negative sign. We have plus plus five x and plus two hundred, and it is eight x plus four hundred. So ito nga yung ating sub region r sub one. While the height of the vertical rectangles on sub region r sub two is the difference of uh, equation y sub three and equation y sub four. Ito yung part na yan. So we have the uh, ito ay ano na ito, ah, sub region two. So sub region two and that is negative 2x plus 200 minus the quantity of 2x minus 200. Then manipulate. We have the negative 2x plus 200 minus 2x plus 200. At the end, we have negative 4x plus 400. Ito ngayon yung ating subregion R sub 2. Hence, the area of the region will be with the notation of A sub R is equal to the area of subregion 1 plus area of the subregion 2. So the area of the region is equal to the definite integration of 8x plus 400 dx, lower bound of negative 50, upper bound of 0, plus the definite integration of negative 4x plus 400 dx, lower bound of 0 and the upper bound is 100. So, kuhanin mo natin yung antiderivative ng ating area of subregion 1. So, ang kanyang antiderivative ay 4x squared plus 400, lower bound negative 50, and upper bound 0. Plus, Antiderivative naman ng area ng region sub 2. So we have negative 2x square plus 400 lower bound 0 and upper bound 100. Then, i-manipulate na natin. Gamitin na natin ang fundamental theorem of calculus. So, sub na natin, substitute na natin yung value of upper bound 0 minus doon sa lower bound na negative 50. Yung f of B minus F of A. So we have uh, quantity of 4 times 0 squared plus 400 times 0 minus 4 times quantity of negative 50 squared plus 400 times negative 50. At yung atin namang area ng subregion 2. So F of B minus F of A. So ang ating upper bound ay 100. Kaya ang mangyayari ay plus the quantity of negative 2 times 100 squared plus 400 times 100 minus negative 2 0 squared plus 400 times 0. And yung munang area ng region or subregion 1, yun ay magiging 0 minus 10,000 minus 20,000. At yun namang area ng region, subregion 2, plus negative 20,000 plus 40,000. At the end, ang ating area ng subregion 1 ay magiging 10,000 plus yung area naman ng subregion 2 ay 20,000. Finally, we have total area of the region, 30,000 square feet. Therefore, the cost of covering the entire park with Frag grass at cost of uh, 150 pesos per square foot is you're going to multiply then sa cost na 150 at yung kanyang 30,000 square feet. Then the result is 4,500,000. And that's it.